Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to another episode of my The Long Dark Let's Play. I should almost say to the beginning of a new um, Let's Play of The Long Dark because it's been quite a while since I made my way the last time into the Canadian wilderness here, into the fictional Canadian wilderness, which couldn't be prettier to be honest with you guys. I am still to this day when I see the graphics, the art of the art style. I can't say just the graphic, it is art. Um, this whole game is art and I apologize, my wedding band just once again hit the table. So if you guys are deafened by it, my apologies to your poor ears. But uh, yeah, I, I love this game. I haven't played it in way too long. Uh, but with the temperatures here creeping around the 35 degrees or a 93 um, Fahrenheit mark i think that's around there oh my my yeah i think i'm not 100 percent sure but who uses fahrenheit anymore anyway oh wait a second yes uh anyways my dear southern neighbors i love you uh but regardless uh of my 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 mischief here um, let's get back into the long dark uh, it's been a while i haven't played it in forever there is a ton of new stuff that is to be discovered. Um, if you guys, before you guys ask me, no, I did not watch Bugs Let's Play or anybody else's Let's Play because I wanted to experience uh, the new things for myself. Um, apart from what I've seen on Twitter, uh, some people tweet about it. Um, I have no idea what's going to be in for me here. I'm going to try my best to survive. I know the survival mechanics changed a little bit. Uh, but I'm gonna stop talking here and less talking more action so sandbox mode Voyager yeah sure you are an explorer and equal parts hunter and hunted the world will not give you anything freely but you'll find that with time you can master it for players who are looking for a reasonable challenging exploration survival experience but not a punishing one mm-hmm sounds good to me mystery lake since as you can see i have not um unlocked anything else a mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down in the northern canadian wilderness how long can you survive <clears throat> well we'll see how long i can survive maybe a day or two sometimes even to live is an act of courage mm -hmm. deep words but yeah guys i'm really excited to be back um oh i'm i'm already oh well lucky me look where i'm stuck there is a knife well this is a lot less pu wow a snare an energy bar that'll come in handy yeah that'll come in no way don't tell me it spawned me this is the hunter's uh no nah. the hunter's Hut, lodge, whatever it was called, I can't remember. Trapper's homestead, that's right. Is that normal? Well, this is... wow. Speaking of lucky, no, I, I do think it spawns you at random places. Well, speaking of being lucky, hey? Good book. Metal container, let's search it. Let's take inventory of this place. Workbench is always nice. Beans. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. Okay, so we have a wood stove already. We got a sewing kit. We got a backpack. Which is empty. <laughs> Tinder blocks, bandage, antibiotics, reclaimed wood, so we can get fire going. Wow. Lucky. Another soon kit. Water purification energy bar. Jerry can. Yeah, this is what I call luck. Rifle rounds. Can opener. And a hunting rifle. Well, I do apologize for everybody who thinks this is, um, <laughs> well, um, well, I don't apologize, but I, I want to say this, uh, this is not 
yeah, this, this was not the experience that I was expecting. Okay. So let's see if we can get this thing. Okay, I must be going the wrong way. Darn it. Okay. Okay, so fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight. Oh, Ha! Oh, lucky! Wow. I can't believe how lucky we are at the moment. An MRE! Yes, sir! More simple tools. A player. Wolves don't like those at all. Okay, so we are going into the outside in the wilderness and gonna set the snare and then we're gonna... Oh, look at this. It's a beautiful day. Well, what more can you want, really? What more can you want? But again, guys, take this scenery and take all, all this beautiful scenery. Now, I never worked with snares before in this game, so... Going to be interesting. I wonder if I should... No, I don't want really, to waste bullets, to be honest. thought there was something here always, no? Yeah. What's the problem? You have survived for 75 minutes. Yay! Look at me. What's 75? 57. What am I saying here? Get up. thinking that the nice weather here is almost over. I do believe I have a snare here somewhere. There. I'm gonna place that one right... What would make sense? I wonder. Well, ideally you place the snare between to, uh, well, in a, in a narrow, narrow throughway, but I guess we don't have really one here. <laughs> I guess we could just place it here in the hopes that an animal will be intrigued by the building and will come looking. Or maybe here. Oh, yeah, let's place it here. Just like that. Hopefully. Hopefully. Alright, so. Well, this is a very mild... Uh, very mild day in the winter. I could just stare for five hours here at the game, honestly. And I wouldn't mind at all. But let's, uh, let's forge some wood. Um, 
hardwood. No, not really hardwood. Let's get some for the our two hours, three hours. Current calories we used seven hundred. Oh sure. Two hours of daylight left. Uh oh. Actually, that's not that bad. Let's get inside. Damn. I'm freezing. Yeah, yeah, that's why we forged the wood, buddy. So, we're gonna actually, no, we're gonna do quickly something first. And there's equipment. Where's the book? Actions. Harvest. No. Well, harvest then. Oh, right. See what condition is not going down anymore because we are now inside. Source of knowledge, you know, something to burn. Yeah, exactly. You can see our calories are a little bit down, so what we're gonna do now. Um, we're gonna make a nice. I don't want to burn the wood yet. There. Okay, well, we're gonna add some. Seven hours of fire, wonderful. Let's heat up some pork and beans. Yummy. Open that and cook that. It will be a very filling, very warming meal. Good. And let's melt some snow. I think three liters should work out nicely. And then, of course, we have now three liters of um, non potable water. Now we make potable water out of it after boiling it. Now, of course, that also um, derives it of all the... Uh, no. Of all nutrients, but... Let's drink. Okay, and have our wonderful hot beans there. Soda is always nice too. And granola bar. Dry and crunchy. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. No. I don't want to really eat that. That's 1700 calories. So for now, for now, we just leave that. Oh, hunger. Well, yeah, maybe. Maybe have another bar. And if we don't cut anything in our... Can I? No, I can't turn it off, which is okay. I'm just gonna go and lay down. Have six hours of rest, or oh, seven hours. Since it's not me in reality, it needs a little bit more sleep. And I have survived 14 hours so far. Um, this is very, very dark. I can't even find my bed. Let's rest another two hours. Fourteen hours of daylight left. Perfect. Alright, that looks better. So let's take inventory here. Fire is out. Um, air temperature is one degree Celsius. I have survived for 16 hours, 10 minutes. 
Well, so far that was not really hard survival either. Granted. Um, but if there is no, uh, no little animal to be found in our snare, which would be really nice if there was, but mm, we'll see. Oh, maybe, maybe. Maybe we are lucky. No, we don't want to run because we don't want to use unnecessary calories at the moment. We don't know when our next meal is coming. I should have maybe listened to my instinct and just... Yeah. Let's take it. Let's go and explore a little bit because just sitting at this house here is not going to get us anywhere. The thirst is a problem, but that's a problem we can easily take care of. There we go. Thirst is taken care of. Actually, I'm gonna eat at this point because... Okay, 2500. The cold, well, the cold is there, but that is okay. It's minus 24 degrees. Light snow. Wind chill minus 6. So what, what I wanted to say is if we don't find a small animal here, um, what I'm considering is to shoot an, a deer. Oh dear. Because that's the basics of survival. You need food, water, and shelter. Shelter is just over this hill. Oh, look what's there. I just realized I haven't seen any wolves. I do see their handiwork though. Where's that crow feather? I have no idea what we need that one. That's it. Uh, I got 10 minutes. 50 minutes. Meat. One hour. Yeah, let's do this. Of course, we're gonna be nice and cold. But for now, that's okay, because this gives us a lot of meat. It's at 31%, so we do want to get it prepared here as soon as possible. I haven't heard any wolves yet. What's going on? Am I really that lucky? What's over there? Dora the Explorer. See, I'm not sure, because when I played the game the last time, I have not seen any uh, small animals. Because, quite frankly, they weren't implemented yet. Now that we have a snare, it is very, very likely to assume that there is rabbits and stuff like that. So, on that token, I would think you could see, especially on a day like this, um, you could see tracks of small animals. And if you see such tracks, maybe even find a burrow, um, you could just put the snare in front of it and wait. I'm so tempted to just shoot this deer over there. Oh wow, a ton of deer. But we will not worry about that right now. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna get the meat completely ready. Yeah, I would think he 
you would see the tracks of a small animal and if you see I tell you guys, the sounds in this game are just as amazing as the graphics. So back in the Trapper's Homestead here, we're gonna go and because it is so crazy cold at the moment for us, we're gonna eat up quickly. You're too oh well uh, 2400 already so yeah, let's just drink a little bit and yeah see this stuff is degrading too fast uh so we're gonna go ahead here two hours seven yeah let's forage that i hope that the meat is not completely going to waste in that time uh oh that doesn't sound good outside Actually, no, let's try it without. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. So we're gonna make us a nice warm fire. We're gonna heat the meat up. And... Eat some deer. Well, not gonna eat some deer, but we're gonna prepare it. And then hopefully it will last a little bit. Well, starting this fire takes a lot longer. And success. Good. Five hours should be good. We have four left. So let's then, yeah, see it's already down to 29%. But in a environment like this i'm perfectly fine with cooking 29 percent good meat um yeah yummy yummy and since we got some fire left let's melt some more snow and boil it because water is always important See, as uh, with search and Rescue on our very first day, we learned the the rule of the four, meaning um, how was that now? A person can oh look at those shadows from the fire, or oh, not shadows, but at the at the light from the fire. This is just beautiful. I can use this. Be full. Yes, yes, you you can can survive, what was it, 4 days without water, 40 days without food. Oh yeah, 4 minutes, you can survive 4 minutes without air, 4 days without water and 40 days without food. That's basically our, um, ooh, yummy, um, that's basically a rule of thumb. That we go by from search and rescue when we go uh, out and have to look for somebody um, in okay i well, might as well actually no i'm gonna forage a little bit longer here um now just as a general rule of of thumb four hours yeah sure why not day one first of many good good we are encumbered and we are colder. Well, that will change here in a second. Start the fire. And it's really amazing. I mean, uh, being part of the search and rescue, um, our our trainer is very, very versed in, in survival. And he's one of those guys, if there was the real world uh, cold, the cold dark scenario, um, 
there is no doubt in my mind that he would easily be surviving because oh well not easy but he would be definitely one of the contenders that i would see uh survive for quite a while cure gut how do i cure gut that's a good question i know we do have gut probably uh, yeah i know you're tired After air drying indoors, how do I air dry you? Okay, well, I guess we're gonna stay here for five days. To air cure it. Ew, can you imagine? <laughs> but no, the, the, the things that he taught us already, um, like just on, on my very first training, um... I mean, I, I know some stuff from the army, obviously, but man, that guy, that's the real deal. He knows things, uh, yeah, let's keep up, let's get the old calories back up. Thirty-four calories. Well, that was a little bit disappointing. There. Oh yeah. Thirst is not a problem for us because we have plenty of water at this point. And if need be, we can always go ahead and. Uh, Let's rest for eight hours. Ho ho ho. Seven percent cured guts. I don't even know if I wanna go outside to be honest, but I just wanna have a quick peek and see how cold it is. That's probably a really bad idea. Minus 19. Wind chill minus 13. Yeah, the heck with that. Um, now to find the bed again. There. So let's sleep for another four hours. It's one hour of darkness left. Okay, so before I'm gonna finish this episode with the first day, well, actually, the first day 16 hours. It's, oh, that doesn't sound good out there, does it? I need something to drink, and soon. Oh, that's not a problem, buddy. Drink, drink, my friend. There you go. Alrighty. Um. Yeah, about that. Oh man. Minus twenty five degrees blizzard. Ugh. is going to get us quickly. I don't think we're gonna find any deer in this kind of weather though. Oh yeah, the focus is going to get us quickly. One shot for the deer, one shot for a wolf. Sound good. What do we have here? A backpack. 
please let there be something. I hope nobody needs this anymore. Beef jerky, well, it's better than nothing. Okay, the cold is getting a little bit ridiculous now. And I don't want to drop too much in, uh, on my, uh, no, I don't want to uh, drop too much of calories either. Okay, here we go, now he's freezing, that's not good. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go back and wait it out because we do have some wood. We do have uh, we do have water, so that's the most important part. I'm gonna get a fire going. I'm gonna wait the storm out. And then we're gonna hunt a deer, which will then, even if we are down to a state of severe hunger. We can work with that quickly. Before though, I want to put. Where's the snare? There. I want to put the snare down. Let's head back because it's getting a little bit ridiculous here in this kind of weather. There we go. Fresh gut is 11% cured, which is nice because fresh guts. Let's quickly eat what we have. And that is... Can we use... Oh yeah, well, let's drop this then too. And cure it. Let's eat... The little that we have left. I mean, we're doing not terribly bad on the cal... Excuse me, on the calories, really. You're not thirsty. That's good. Fatigue is not bad either, so we can use the time here. Old man's beard wound dressing. Okay, torch. Okay, snare. A hook suitable for fishing. A line suitable for fishing. Fishing tackle. Rabbit skin mitts. Mm hmm. Deer skin boots. Deer skin pants. Wolf skin coat. Look at this. Bear skin bedroll. That means you have to find a bear. Survival bow. Okay. Well, a cured maple sapling. I think this would be something. Straight wooden arrow. Cured birch saplings. Combined with crow feathers. Wow. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of... Uh, because I remember somebody saying, Oh, well, no, you can craft bows and that's OP and whatnot. Well, not really, because you still have to craft all this stuff here. So you have to craft the shaft, you have to craft the bow, an arrowhead. So... No, it's really not that easy. Very nice, very nice. Oh, this dorm. I don't think we can do really anything here, though. Only thing we could try is harvest forage wood again. But the reclaimed wood, yeah, we got everything that we could get from here. 70 calories, 5 tinder. Well, why not? Doesn't really matter. Maybe in this time... 
the storm will subside? No, it did not, though. It did not. A locked locker. I would like to know what's in there. But I guess we will not find out. yet but looking at the time guys i will end this episode here um and uh yeah i hope you enjoyed uh, we will be back here soon with a more survival in the cold long dark so until then i say thank you so much for watching guys please join me next time and have a great day god bless you